dear comrades who are today retiring from active service, I greet you all in the name of our great and strong Uganda People's Defense Forces. For Uganda, our fatherland, no sacrifice is too great. The officers and men of the UPDF have demonstrated this commitment to serve the country over decades and through countless operations. The young soldiers and officers you are leaving behind serving in Operation Shuja, in Somalia, in Karamoja, and other places are carrying forward this noble tradition. We are proud of them for following in our footsteps. Today, we also remember the glorious comrades who died protecting Uganda from rebellions and terrorism as the senior retiree was saying. May their memories live forever. So congratulations once again for completing your service and for being able to walk out of these gates with good and clean records. That is an achievement. However, you must already know that for some professions like ours, one never really retires. Being a soldier is not a job like other jobs. It is a vocation, it is a calling. You do not hear of a monk or a priest retiring. They can step back from a full-time assignment, like being a, a parish priest, but theirs is a lifelong commitment to the church. Similarly, we too are priests. We are also priests. And our church is Uganda. Our mission to have a secure, peaceful, and prosperous Uganda does not end because we stop wearing uniforms. Finally, UPDF intends to continue supporting our veterans economically after retirement. We are we are working, the, the Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs is working on a framework for continued economic engagement with our veterans after they retire. Yes, of all, sir, allow me to quote Dr. Franz Fanon, the Caribbean, the Caribbean great revolutionary, and he said, each generation must discover its mission, fulfill it, or betray it. When Uganda was at the verge of total collapse, he took the command in chief to raise the occasion, riding the Ugandans along the, a correct military and political line against the forces of tyranny, oppression, and exploitation. As we retire, therefore, we carry forward the legacy of patriotism and service. Having fulfilled the historic mission of our generation without betrayal. As we leave, sir, we are particularly pleased that the UPDF continues to be respected and trusted by the people of Uganda, Africa, beyond, not to mention the invaluable contribution and sacrifices that our soldiers continue to play in different countries, especially in the case of our African homeland. We believe we, are still, we still have energy and the drive and the will and dedication still be useful to the struggle if called upon. At one time, there was no pay at all, followed by just the nominal pay until recently. 
I call upon my colleagues to use the retirement package good, carefully and wisely, as we are guided during the retreat in Jinja in January 2024. Some of the officers are retiring in advanced age, which comes with health complications and costs. We request a health policy from which we should continue to benefit fully to be constructed.